Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you all a very delicious and light fish tea recipe. I did put a little bit of provision in here just for the baby, but of course you can omit it. And I went ahead and I made these with salmon pieces. So delicious and easy as there are no bones in the salmon. So to start this recipe off, I have here my salmon pieces already cleaned and I'm seasoning it with some fish seasoning. I like using the Maggi fish seasoning for this and now I'm going in with some Goya adobo all purpose seasoning and some fresh green seasoning. I'm going to mix that in, be very gentle because the fish can break apart very easily and you can also use any other type of fish you wanted for this. Now I'm going to set this aside and in a heavy bottom pot, I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil. Once the oil heats up, I'm going to go in with my aromatic chopped onions, pimento peppers and celery. And we're going to allow this to saute in here until the onions are nice and tender. I'd say let it go for about a minute, after which I'll go in with tons of chopped or minced garlic. Allow that to cook and let the garlic soften. Don't let it burn guys. If it does, it will taste really bitter. I'm going in with a piece of ginger. Just mix that in and then I'll go in with my chopped provision or vegetables, whichever one you want to put or you can totally omit. Give that a mix and then I'll go in with some green seasoning and some fish seasoning and I like using the Maggi fish seasoning for this and some of my favorite seasoning, the Goya Adobo All Purpose Seasoning. We want to mix that, allow it to cook for about a minute, after which we'll go in with some fish stock. Clam broth is really good too in this guy, so whichever one you can find, if not, just use chicken stock. I'm just running outside really quickly to get a piece of a fever grass because I always have that on hand and a few cement leaves. Now I'm just gonna wash those off and then we're adding that lemongrass and a cement leaf to the soup. Now it may sound weird but trust me this adds so much more health benefits for you, antioxidant, inflammatory, in goes some turmeric and next some okra. My mother-in-law taught me that turmeric is really great in soups. I was like blown away when she told me that. So we're going to allow this to come up to a simmer. Just before the vegetables or the provision is finished, we want to go in with our fish. Now, as I'm using this salmon, it doesn't need a lot of time to cook. So we'll go in with that about two minutes before the soup is done. If you're using a fish that needs a little more time, you put it in five or eight minutes before your soup is finished. Just allow that to nestle in there and allow it to simmer until the fish is cooked. And once it's cooked, you'll go ahead and taste and adjust your salt accordingly. And then this is ready to be served. If you guys wanted more liquid in there, of course, you can put in more stock or more water. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it, let me know down below. It's Lent season. It's perfect for this season. Just look at that light broth. Comment guys. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one and stay safe. Bye.